What's up everyone and welcome to part two of the drift cart build series. In this video, we're going to install the brakes and the brake calipers. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch part one of the drift cart build series where we install the rear axle. And if you have, enjoy the video. So this is what you need for this install. You're going to need to grab the brake line, the brake pedal, the brake pedal bracket, brake caliper, brake caliper hardware, brake pads, and the master cylinder. Also, you're going to need these hardware for the brake pedal assembly. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the brake pedal assembly. You're going to go ahead and grab the bracket, the longer bolts and nuts, and the master cylinder. So now you're going to go ahead and bolt down the master cylinder to the bracket. On the back bolt that we're installing right now, you don't need a washer on top. So on the bottom side of the master cylinder, you're going to go ahead and grab the oversized nut and you're going to place it onto the bolt and it's going to serve as a spacer. After that, you're going to go ahead and grab the smaller bracket and you're going to go ahead and place it into the bolt, sandwiching the spacer. Then put on the washer and the nut and you can go ahead and bolt it down. Next step is you're going to go ahead and extend the master cylinder and we're going to go ahead and install the brake pedal. You're going to go ahead and grab the smaller bolt and nut and the brake pedal and you're going to place it onto the bracket and bolt them down on the bottom side of the bracket. Now, we didn't show this hardware in the beginning of the video, but you're going to go ahead and grab this long bolt and nut, and you're going to use this to install the brake pedal to the brake master cylinder. Now you're going to go ahead and grab the whole brake pedal assembly and you're going to put it on the left side of the cart. So right under the brake pedal, you can go ahead and insert two bolts and nut from the bottom. Yeah, so these ones are facing down because they're from the outside, you can see it. Mm -hmm. so I just, and this one's optional, we don't need to use that one. This one right here. Yeah, right here. That's all you need. The other ones are optional. Now you're going to go ahead and tighten down the brake master cylinder to the brake pedal. Now the next step is we're going to go ahead and install the brake reservoir to the brake master cylinder. Now the tube is oversized so make sure you cut it accordingly to where you place the brake pedal. That's too long. Uh, this varies depending on where you position this pedal oh. like forward or back. It might be longer or shorter but so that's why you cut it afterwards after you install the pedal. After that, go ahead and zip tie the brake reservoir to the front of the chassis. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and work in the back. Now you're going to go ahead and grab the brake caliper and the flange bolt along with the spacer. So the next step is you're going to go ahead and install the brake caliper to the rotor. So after that, you're going to go ahead and grab the flange bolt and you're going to insert it from the back side of the brake bracket and then on the other side of the brake bracket you're going to insert the spacer and then you're going to go ahead and sandwich that spacer with the brake caliper. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of the brake caliper. 
After you got the bolts in, you can go ahead and tighten them down. So after that, you're going to go ahead and center the brake rotor to the brake caliber, and then you're going to go ahead and align the threaded hole of the brake caliber to the slots on the rear axle and go ahead and tighten it down. So after that, we're going to go ahead and go back to the front, and you're going to go ahead and take off the bolt on the front of the brake master cylinder, grab the brake line, and go ahead and install the brake line to the brake master cylinder. So the next step is you're going to go ahead and route the brake line to the back and you're going to go ahead and install that to the brake caliper. Then you can go ahead and tighten it down with a 12 millimeter socket or wrench. Now you can go ahead and tidy up the brake lines and zip tie it to the chassis. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and bleed the brake system. Now the method that we're showing you, you can actually bleed the brakes by yourself. Now we'll have a product with a link in the description that's similar to what we made. So you can go ahead and bleed the brakes by yourself. So the next step is you're going to go ahead and insert the tube onto the brake bleed nipple that's on the caliper. So we're going to go ahead and close the brake bleeder by tightening it. And we're going to go ahead and put some fluid in pump the brakes a few times until we get some fluid inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up the brake bleeder by opening it. And we're gonna go ahead and bleed the rest of the air out. One thing to mention is that you always want to keep the reservoir filled. So as you are pumping the brakes, the fluid will go down into the brakes. So make sure the brake reservoir doesn't go dry. Otherwise you'll be putting more air into the system. So after you put some brake fluid into the system, we're going to go ahead and open up the brake bleeder by loosening it. And then we're going to continue pumping and refilling the brake reservoir until we see a solid stream with no bubbles into the bottle. See those bubbles? Mm -hmm. You got to make sure this fluid, the reservoir doesn't go empty while you're doing this. Pretty solid now. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. After you completely more. bled the brake system, go ahead and close the brake bleeder valve what by tightening it normal? and go ahead yes. and make sure the reservoir is filled up. After that, go ahead and test the brakes. If it doesn't work, redo the process until you bled the system. And now that concludes part two of the drift cart build series. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe because we'll be posting up a part three pretty soon of the drift cart build series. And if you guys are interested in your own drift carts, be sure to check out the link in the description below and get yourself a drift cart because it's freaking wicked. But with that said, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys in part three of the drift cart build series. Peace.